Good evening, and welcome to your Channel 6 News at 6. I'm your host, Salvador Osaidi. Our top story, men's mental health, an unspoken phenomenon that affects thousands of men every year. A study done during the COVID pandemic showed that men sought higher rates for social services than women, bringing the total for the year to 79%. Yet a different study says that men are still 75% of suicide rates. While the importance of social connection and strong support networks helps drastically change mental health for many people, a study shows that we know very little about the way men access mental health services. Despite rising challenges for men's mental health, it is still hard for them to seek help. Why is that? A reporter, Theodore Harapy, sat down with a stakeholder in the men's mental health community to find out and get a better understanding as to why it is that men suffer in silence. Thanks, Sal. I'm sitting here with college alumni Christian Johnston. Thank you for being here. I'm here to ask you some questions about men's mental health. You are one of the stakeholders in this, as you are and identify as a man and are someone who has had issues with mental health in the past. So I just got some questions. Yeah, yeah. Just got some questions that I need to ask you. So how do you see the issue of men's mental health? It's probably a good thing that mental health in general is being... Uh, looked at in a different light than it was even 10 years ago comparatively to even uh, something like 20 or 30 years ago where it uh, wouldn't get talked about at all or just get hushed. Um, but I still believe that there's still so, so much more that we can do, uh, men and women, um, to kind of help push that cause forward. Interesting. How have you been impacted by society? As a man in society with mental health issues, I feel like um, it's at points in time, it's definitely been very hard to talk about. Um, you know, that's where you have to uh, try to get either a group of friends or someone that I've really trusted in the past, whether that be an authority figure, uh, to really, that you trust, that you feel like you can confide in and talk to about uh, the things that you're going through. And that's what I feel uh, really helped me. Um, Yes, of course, you'll get people that obviously say the stereotypes of manning up or being a man, but uh, I feel like being a man is much more about expressing those feelings than, than hiding them. What do you want the future to look like for men in society with mental health issues? Uh, I'd like the future for men's mental health to be much more open um, and communicative, uh, just in general, to be completely honest. Um, I feel like the more that people feel comfortable in talking, um, whether it's about mental health or really anything, uh, I feel like that's only going to help uh, everyone, not just men and uh, not just men. What has your experience been like with mental health? Um, I'm a very anxious person, um, but the step steps that I've taken to kind of adapt to that is uh, just obviously speaking to people that mean uh, that I trust and that I know are unbiased and will give me their honest, true thoughts and opinions uh, and ideas on how they think that um, what might help me, and uh, as well as uh, professionals uh, with therapy. And uh, they've also given me lots of kind of activities, um, breathing exercises and things that have really helped uh, me personally. Well, after that interview, this anchorman would not only like to thank Christian, but acknowledge the fact that society would be better for everyone if mental health was discussed and talked about more. If we want to move forward, removing the stigma is the best way to do it. Tonight at 11, which pet is most likely to be a supervillain? The answer may surprise you. Thank you and good night.